It's gonna, okay. Good job. High five. Good morning. I'm currently cracking up standing here in the kitchen looking out the window because Justin is outside with the big kids. They found a snail on one of like the deck chairs and just seeing the kids' personalities is so different because Emma and Ruben both sprinted away, don't want nothing to do with the snail. Asher on the other hand runs over towards the deck chair, picks up the snail and is holding it in his hand walking around to Emma and Ruben like, look at the snail. It's so funny watching like their personalities that come out like if Ruben sees any type of bug he will scream bloody murder but his twin brother is like let me pick up all of the bugs that I can possibly find I just love watching them develop like their own personalities it's so funny also Justin got jealous that the kids had bikes and scooters so he went out and bought an adult sized <laughs> scooter so I wish it was taller I have to figure out a way to make it they tall. make taller bars I just didn't know before I bought it how tall I actually was and how tall I needed. It would be fun when Emma gets older because she loves it so much. Like, what? Ready? Set? Oh! He wants to keep up with you guys. It's so sweet. Anyways, they're playing outside, but I think I'm gonna surprise them and I'm gonna bring out their KiwiCo boxes that just came in the mail today. You guys have been watching us for a long time. You know that we use KiwiCo all the time, especially when Emma was younger. And now we have four kids, so we have four crates. But if you don't know what it is, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it because it's amazing. KiwiCo makes seriously fun enrichment for kids of all ages. And what they do is provide a monthly crate delivered right to your front door, and each one has fun, hands-on projects for your kids. They're designed by experts and they're tested by kids, and there's nine different lines for kids of all ages. So we got Ruben and Asher, their koala crate, which is designed for kids from ages two to four. We got music and nature. We got Emma the kiwi crate, it's designed from ages five through eight. And then baby Faye got the panda crate, which is for ages zero to 24 months. This one is delivered every other month. Depending on what crate you receive, it either has multiple projects within it or additional ways to customize the experiments that you can do. Each crate also comes with a kid-friendly magazine that empowers your kids to be able to complete the projects on their own and dive deeper into the subject. KiwiCo delivers seriously fun enrichment for kids of all ages from science and engineering to art and design. Each one is designed by their expert team to inspire excitement, curiosity, and moments of discovery. Over a thousand hours go into developing every single crate and everything you need comes inside, saving multiple trips to the store or a bunch of research on blogs or DIY websites. They are a great way for parents to make their own home and backyard entertaining on a budget. They're convenient and affordable and they help provide so much quality time with your kids. My hand. They also get screen free time while having so much fun. KiwiCo really wants STEAM education to be accessible to all kids. So for that reason, they work really hard to keep their prices affordable for everybody. And if you just want a single crate or you're not ready to subscribe, KiwiCo offers a variety of individual crates at the KiwiCo store. We seriously love KiwiCo. And if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, you can get 50% off your first month if you go to kiwico.com slash Rochelle and use the code Rochelle. It's an amazing first time offer. All the information will be down in the description box down below. They don't, I don't think they do it by halves because last time I got you an 11 because I don't think they do halves. No, let's do 11. Okay, I already measured them. I wrote it down. So okay. your feet are six and a half inches. Ruben 6.25 and Asher's are 5.75. What did I just do? There's a 15% off. Pink for Emma. We got a purplish for Ruben. Blue for Asher. We got gray for Daddy. And even Mommy's going to get a pair. White. Yeah, mommy's going with the classic white. Good morning, everybody. We are ordering Crocs for the entire family for the summertime. Justin has had his for so long, but Pepper got a pair, and uh, I think he ate the strap off of the back, so it was time for Justin to get a new pair. Asher and Ruben have never had a pair. Emma doesn't fit hers anymore. I've never had a pair, and I'm being sucked in because everybody else is getting one, so we're all getting a pair. Actually, Kaylee just got a pair, and she said, like, Rochelle, you have to get one, so we're all getting, we're all getting Crocs. And then we're gonna get the little Croc charms, the gibbets. Well, how are you? You have Bopix and unicorn and strawberry for making both match their Oh, you want to match? 
<laughs> I'm gonna get the charms on um, Amazon though because they're much cheaper to get like a bunch. They have Pokemon. And unicorns. And unicorns. Strawberry one. And she wants a strawberry one, which is so cute. And when Faye starts walking, we'll get her a pair. Ooh. Luckily on your first purchase, you get 15% off, so that saved us a little bit. Look at all the pretty colors. I know. All right, we've got Emma's, we've got Ruben's, we've got Asher's, Daddy's, and then Mommy's. Everybody's Crocs all lined up. And this is so funny. Emma's a 10, Ruben's a nine, Asher's an eight. And then Mommy and Daddy have big feet too. I successfully got out the door really quickly, which was honestly quite a feat because none of the kids wanted me to leave this morning. But I'm just gonna run to Lowe's super quick. Justin and I are kind of in like our spring cleaning phase on the outside and the inside. We wanna get some like planters for the front porch for spring flowers and just make it look a little bit nicer. Especially because of all of like the construction in the front that we have to do. It kind of looks like a mess out there. So we're just gonna put some flowers and try and like put a band-aid on it until it gets fixed. So I'm gonna run there super quickly and grab like some pots and a couple flowers for the front porch just to like make it look a little nicer. And then Justin is the sweetest. He detailed my car for me yesterday, which was amazing. My love language is acts of service. If you guys haven't done the love language quiz, you need to do it because it is so revealing about your personality. But I am an acts of service person so when he does something like this, I didn't have to ask him. He was just driving home from work the other day and he's like, I stopped at the car wash and I detailed your car. I just, I love him so much. He knows me so well. Like that is just, oh, I love him. Highly recommend doing that quiz to learn more about yourself and your partner if you have one. But anyways, off to Lowe's. Okay, let's see what we can find today. I don't even know where to begin. There are so many options for like, pots because I want something that's not going to cost an arm and a leg obviously. Maybe something like this. These are pretty affordable and they look, oh god, they look nice. Okay, this is all I got. So I got these planters are what I decided on. They look like they're concrete, but they're not. They're like plastic. So they'll look really nice, but they were cheaper. And then I got this plant to put in the front somewhere where one of our other plants died. I decided to get these hydrangeas um, for the pot. So I'm hoping they do well. They need partial shade and that's where these pots are gonna go. So I'm really hoping I don't kill these. I'm gonna do my absolute best. I also got a pair of gloves because um, I lost mine. And I got the kids some ladybugs to release in the backyard tonight because I think they're gonna be so excited and of course I needed to get some dirt this is the mess I was referring to in the front yard by the way the landscapers are gonna have to come and fix this soon hopefully we don't know what we're doing for this area yet because we just we're not sure we need to talk to them but it's an absolute disaster zone right here still. At least it's safe though. And right here is where I'm thinking we're gonna put this purple guy, but I kind of wish he was a little bigger. We had a rose bush here and it died or we took it out, I forget. Either there or there's another plant over here that we trimmed down because we're not huge fans of and it overtakes everything. So maybe take that out and put it in its place. I'm gonna ask Justin what he thinks. And then of course the hydrangeas, these are gonna go in the pots. They're so pretty, hopefully they do well. Thank you. Okay, ready? Drop it. Uh -huh. Let's get the other one. Whoa. Okay, baby, I think there's more in the garage. Okay. That was probably not the way you're supposed to do this. That's good a little. <laughs> okay, got one in. It's gonna, okay. Good job. High five. Pretty like bluish purple flower. Okay, I got them in these two spots right here, which I'm thinking is good because they'll get some of that sunlight, but not too much because they're partial sun. I don't know if I wanted them like closer in on the inside of the pillars, but I feel like this is actually better. They look cute. I just have to cut the tags off. Emma also planted her flower from last week right here in the planter. Note that there is still a Christmas wreath hanging in the entryway, but we're gonna pretend, we're just gonna pretend that's not there. And then Justin said we should plant this guy here. So I think I'm gonna try and do it by myself. Oh my gosh. Adios. Adios. Bought gloves, didn't even use them. Oh my gosh, it's like hot today. I think the high is like 91. Um, I totally forgot that I needed to go to a neighbor's house down the street today at some point and pick up some tomato plants that she set aside for me so I could plant tomatoes again because last year the tomatoes in our backyard were the only thing that lived and they thrived because they love the heat. And I want that again because those were like the best tomatoes ever even though well, they were like little itty bitty. Okay, I was gonna show this cute package I just got from Mushy & Co. I like this. 
They sent each of the kids these cute little bento, pen, bento, bento lunch boxes. Emma already grabbed hers because it was pink. She grabbed it and was like claiming it. But they're so cute. They're like a little lid, obviously. It comes with a fork and a spoon. And then this little lid. And it's like a little compartment lunch box. So those are so cute. They sent one for each of the kids. A stretchy swaddle, which honestly, use these still, even though obviously the baby's not swaddled. They love these. The kids love playing with these. The baby loves snuggling with these. They're little like bath boats and it looks like they connect. Aren't those cute? Yeah. And then a little sample. I didn't know they did lotion. Little sample lotions. Oh my gosh, I love that. I really love these little lunch boxes though because I love that it comes with the fork and spoon. Boys don't go to school yet, obviously, but Emma, when she goes to school, I feel like she's gonna lose the fork and spoon whenever I send them. So I love that these come with them and they're like, totally attached tonight. This would be perfect for kindergarten. And we've got three now, one for each of them. That was so sweet. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> good water? Yeah. Mm. Whoa! There is a frog. What else? <laughs> that we bring. What else? What's that? The watermelon. <laughs> that looks like a little bumblebee. Anyways, I think we're gonna go up a little bit later. Maybe take the kids to the P-A-R-K because it's such a beautiful day today. Justin spent most of the morning with the kids in the backyard while I ran to Lowe's and they were still out there when I got home. So it's gorgeous out. Drink it? You want me to drink it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, more? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching and we will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.